Hello Fayette County, this is Jonathan Patterson, the proud superintendent of Fayette County Public Schools. It's a little spring in the air today and I'm excited. I know you are getting excited about the weather that we're seeing and really the excitement about the spring break that's coming up and the end of the year is coming up soon and we can really feel and sense that the end of this school year is coming up and hopefully we're going to turn this page of COVID soon. COVID has impacted this community as much as any other community. However, I think that the Fayette County community has, has really prospered during this time. We've had our challenges. We've, everyone has had a sense of loss, of either losing graduation, uh, losing special events, losing the opportunity to attend school face to face. But I, I know you're like me, that you're really excited about coming out of this and looking forward to a great end of the year. Our COVID numbers look great. Uh, we don't see really much uh, spread at all in the community and really nothing very big is happening in the school. But that is something we don't want to take for granted as we continue uh, our, uh, what we're doing out in the community and in our schools. And so thank you for being safe. We have uh, our, our teachers vaccinated. So we had a vaccination clinic where we had 1,800 teachers and staff members vaccinated here at Fayette County High School. So I want to thank Piedmont Hospital, Steve Porter, all the folks that were involved in that vaccination clinic. But a special thank you to our nurses. Really, this was a culminating event of all the hard work that's, been, that's happened this year in our schools. So thanks to all of our nurses and a special thank you to Piedmont Hospital. We couldn't have done it without you. Looking forward to this summer, we do have an opportunity for students who've experienced some learning loss to get some additional help this summer. So if you're a parent and you've noticed that your child may need a little additional help, please reach out to your child's counselor, child's assistant principal or the principal to make sure that we can uh, get your child some additional help this summer. We have some additional funds from the federal government to do this and we're more than happy to provide those gaps uh, of instruction that or to fill in those gaps in instruction this summer. As we look towards next year, I know that you're thinking about what are our plans for next year. So first of all, let's talk about the opportunities to be virtual. We want all of our students back in person. Let's just say that up front. However, we know that some families are not yet ready for that to happen. So we've had the opportunity for families to choose virtual for our high schools. That application closed. We had less than 500 students that chose to uh, go virtual for next year. We'd like for that number to be even smaller because we've seen students thrive and be successful virtually. However, we see uh, the most benefit of having that interaction, that daily interaction between the teacher, the students, and the students in the classroom. That really is probably the best way for most students to learn and we want to encourage as many students to come back in person as possible. For middle and elementary school, we are offering the option for virtual. That application closes on April 4th. So if you are interested in, in doing virtual education in middle and elementary school, make sure you fill out that application and get it in April 4th. So in the next week, uh, we're gonna be experiencing spring break. I don't know about you, but I am super excited. I know our teachers, our students, our parents, and this entire community is excited to have a little bit of a break. Uh, as we go into spring break, we are a little nervous as a school system of what will come back that, that week that we come back. Will we see a rise in COVID numbers? Will we have to see students go into quarantine? Will we have to have students uh, go into a synchronous uh, hybrid situation? None of those things we want to see and our numbers are looking so good that we're encouraged that we won't see that. But we need your help. So be responsible when you're out there at the spring break, wear your mask, uh, socially distance as you can, again, so we can finish the year strong. So as we think about the end of the year, we are excited about prom, we're gonna have prom. We're excited about in-person graduation. Uh, we're excited about the end of the year activities. Your schools are doing a great job of organizing those events and you'll hear more information about those events from your principal. But as we finish, we want to make sure that we keep our eye on the prize, that we finish strong, that we keep our goals in focus. Um, you know, as we think about day to day, we get excited about certain activities, but we really need to stay safe and healthy as we finish this year and keep our long-term goals in view. So as we conclude this school year, I want to thank everybody for welcoming me to your community. 
I'm loving it here. It is a wonderful place to be. And so I just want to thank you again for all your support for our school system. And as we close, I just want to say thank you to all of those who supported us. We really appreciate it. And a special thank you to our teachers for allowing us to be open and in person this year. It couldn't happen without our teachers, nurses, support staff, our principals, bus drivers, food service folks. Again, just a big thank you to everyone who's allowed us to continue operations in Fayette County. Our students are at the center of what we do and why we do it, and they're the they're the reason why we're here. So thanks again, everyone. Hope you have a great spring break.